Jack, it seems like when you guys do special teams work, there's a lot of yelling and chaos. And is that on purpose, trying to you know kind of test you guys a little bit? Yeah, it's just to get the guys, you know, a little bit of energy out there and uh, getting uh, people where they're supposed to be fast, you know. So um, we go over it in the meetings a little bit, and then when we get on the field, everyone expects everyone to know where they're supposed to go. And I mean, I don't think there's a little anything wrong with a little bit of chaos when you go out there. Well, how would you characterize the difference between? what you saw last year at this time and now. Right, I think coach right, yeah. right. I think um, a lot of it is uh, better mentality. I think we bring a little bit more energy to the football field. And um, one thing that we just said in uh, our little huddle over there after practice, I think I'm going to start saying more, maybe apply it to myself as successful men do little things right. Um, I think that is like a really big thing for our football team, just the small things matter. Last time we had talked with you, Coach Leg was still expected to be the special teams coordinator, I guess. Just how did you find out about him leaving and, and what was your reaction to that news? Right. Um, I actually found out uh, from a phone call and then I saw Twitter. Um, but the phone call, um, it was, he was respectful and there's not really much you can do or say about it. So um, I was surprised, but um, I just was waiting for the next coach, I guess. And I didn't really have any thoughts about leaving. And good thing I didn't because Coach Volano is a really good guy. I like him so far. So and say what stands out to you about Coach Bolano's kind of style and what he's teaching you guys. Right. I've had three different special teams in my college career so far. So um, just learning like different uh, techniques, different drills that we have. And I think Coach Volano did it uh, really well. He came in. He didn't say, hey, we're going to change all this. He found out what we did best. He found out what um, we like to do. And he did. He made drills around what we're good at. So I think um, that really helped us. Just coming in comfortable wasn't we're going to change everything. Uh, just what works best for us. You had said in that first meeting that Fran had with you guys that the way he talked about special teams had really stood out to you. Do you feel like that's held true and that he's really shown how much he cares about you guys through practice? Yeah, I think so for sure. I mean, he's with the returners um, when I'm punting, so they're getting all that good drill work. And then I'm back there with Coach Will, Coach Volano, and then we have Brady. Um, so, I mean, I think it's just like we're all getting better as a team in that sense, but I think like it has carried to. We still have special teams meetings, so... Um, yeah, we're putting our best foot forward on special teams this year. So, yeah, I'm excited. Take the last two for Jack. Jack, we've seen um, Coach Fran really emphasize alumni relationships, and we got that with uh, Randy coming to Houston this weekend. What was it like, you know, meeting with him and getting to know more of the Cuse alumni as, you know, the season goes on? Right. I think it's awesome just to get to know the guys that have been here and done it best. So um, I actually got Riley Dixon's uh, phone number, so we were talking a little bit. And then when I met him at practice, uh, I asked him, questions that most people would like what is his drills like what what film does he do what are his steps um he helped me a lot with holding um but i'll stay in contact with him we'll try to get together on the off season and all of that uh, a little bit more so yeah it was really cool good all right thanks jack thank you